really wonderful for me at that time because I had a job offer to go into investment banking and I was trying to figure out whether I was going to pursue music or not and I was very scared about that life, the hard, hard life I knew it was going to be, but also not giving my dreams a chance. And so I turned the job down. And, but writing the show is very cathartic. Wow. And writing shows continues to be as I, as I put my own feelings and the issues that I face in my life into the things I write. But I don't want you to go into this with the expectation that we're coming to Broadway. It's going to take a, this is a, a, a tough one, and it's going to take astronomical response for us to even talk about that. So we went to Washington, D.C., Arena Stage. We met over the summer. Brian read every single review and came in. And, and, and not that you listen to all of that, but if people are all saying the same thing, you'd be dumb not to listen to what they're saying. And so we went to Arena. It was so relaxed and calm. And for the first time in a while, it just felt a little free, like we didn't have the pressure of what we were doing next. And. The show opened and we did. We got an astronomical response in DC and the main critic in DC, Peter Marks, gave us a, a, a beautiful rave. If everyone remembers in 2009, it was the height of the financial crisis and David Stone had a really difficult decision. This is a, a difficult show about mental illness coming to Broadway. I was working on 13 in the fall. I was musical directing and I looked out at some of those houses and it was not pretty on Broadway at that time. I think something like nine shows closed in January. So David said to us, what do you want to do? And I said, look, you mentioned about what it would take. We got this. The show is resonating. I will always regret not taking that final chance. And I'm willing to live with a short run. But after all we've done and what we have um, and what this cast has sacrificed, I want to go to Broadway.